So good morning or good night, depending on where you are in the world, and welcome to another album review of The Shield Dude on a Couch. I'm your host, Hector, and today we're going to talk about the eighth album by Avenged Sevenfold. So for those of you that don't know Avenged Sevenfold, a, they started as a metalcore band in the beginning of the 2000s, but then they started to experiment with some sounds. I remember really getting into them with City of Evil, and something that I really liked about that album is like they had some like m like experimentation to them. They had a great solo. Sinister Gate solos are amazing. Uh, the drumming with for Jim the Rep was great at that time. And uh, M Vocal Shadows really helped because they had like a like a punk rock energy. To me, they sounded like a crossover from Iron Maiden, Guns N' Roses, and Metallica, like something like that, with some prog tendencies here and there. Over the years, they have started to add more experimentation to their sound as they did on the album after that. Then they had an album in 2014 that held to the held to the king that re that really sounded like Metallica to a to a T. And yeah, it, it was catchy, but it was the less experimentation. But the last album that they released way back in 2016, the stage which they released without any warning was a more progressive album and I, and I really liked the stage when it came out. I thought that they took some risks with that one. So it's been a while. Uh, obviously we had COVID times. Uh, they did put out some singles in some video games and you know, uh, M Shadows uh, suffered uh, an inflamed throat and that also made this follow up to the stage take longer. So seven years later, uh, do they do they succeed with life is but a dream? Well, I would say depends on who you ask, because this is a bench sevenfold embracing the weirdness, man. This is a strange fucking album. You know, it's it's not conventional. They really do some different things and they do a mix of different genres in different ways. And I, I kid you not, it's it's ballsy as fuck. I have to give it to the band. They really took some risk with this album because this is an album that really uh, has a lot of shifts in tone sometimes on one song. And uh, I remember when I heard the single Nobody, uh, I didn't particularly love the single. I thought that M Shadow's vocals weren't the most great at it. it. He sounded like restrained or that he was struggling a little bit. And musically, uh, I didn't like the down, down, like I thought it was a little bit annoying. It has a great solo by City Street Gates, but it's a song that I warmed up to it a little bit more. Then they had the other single, We Love You, which uh, when I first heard it, I was like, I'm like, I can't describe what I'm hearing because there's some parts in here that are really very Mr. Bungle, thrashy elements. And then you have parts of the song where it's like a robot singing. He's like more money, more sex. And I, I, and it's it's weird. Uh, it's it's kind of corny a little bit, that song. So uh, I think that that's a song that really divided fans. and. I was like, I, I don't know what to expect from this album for the two singles, but uh, I, I, I'm i like, if, if this is the way that they're going, yeah, uh, embrace the weirdness. But yeah, there's a lot of like, I think this band has strayed away for the metalcore and they really embrace progressive elements to it. And progressive rock, there's, there's melodies in this song. And I think that uh, Avenged Sevenfold now, uh, I think going in the future, I think they're gonna stay in this direction. So the rest of the songs, what do they sound like? Because there's like 11 songs on this album. So the album starts uh, with Game Over and Game Over starts with some like really gentle guitars, kind of like not flamenco, but that go into that style. And then at the 30 second mark, you get classic Avenged Sevenfold. And this is a great song to start. And this is like, a, there's a concept album to this life, uh, to this album that the concept is like, you know, uh, life is like a dream and you don't, you don't know when you're going to die. And it's like the process of someone like dying. That's what I interpret from the songs. So Game Over starts that. 
Then you have a, the, the, a song that I really thought was really interesting is Mattel. And uh, I, I don't know if it, it does, uh, they mention a lot of like plastic on the song. And the song has some piano on it, but then it has some like very frantic guitars. So it goes all over the place. Uh, M Shadow sounds better on this one. I think when he sings and he's not in a super high altitude, I think he's, it benefits his voice from his singing capabilities at this moment. So that one is great. But my favorite song is Cosmic. Cosmic is a seven and a half minute uh, song and it sounds very spacey, psychedelic, some great guitars on it. And uh, I like the weirdness and, and, and prog elements of this song. This sounds like a prog rock from the 70s meets modern metal. And uh, I really think it, it's a great track that uh, shows the ability of the band to write a long song even though cosmic is a long song you don't feel it because it takes you on a trip a cosmic trip if you will and i think that Avenged sevenfold uh, have written longer songs in the past and they're good at it because they have changes and those changes makes the song interesting they don't stay on one note uh, and that this makes it a very good song my favorite along with mattel other songs like Beautiful Morning, you know, it's, it's good. Uh, it could have been better, you know, it's nothing new. It doesn't bring anything new to the table, but there's some good progressive elements to that song. But there's some use of auto-tune on some of the songs, especially on the song Easier, that I think are annoying, especially how the song sounds, because it's, it sounds very too much robotic to me. And, and it, it really, I don't know, uh, I know they're trying to do like a concept, but to me, it didn't serve the song. I don't know. Uh, I'm not in the band, but I didn't like that one. At least that part, then it gets better. There's some, some good soloing on it that really helps the song. Uh, but yeah, Easier is a weird song to me and, and not one of the best on the album. Then you have the album closest with three tracks called G, Ordinary and D, which put together spell God. And this is where the weirdness takes over in a big fucking way. Especially on G, there's like some female vocals uh, with M shadows and it, it gets like kind of jazzy and funky, if you will, like you could dance to this fucking song. But you know, it doesn't feel out of place. Then you have Ordinary and Ordinary uh, has more uh, progier elements, very like dreamlike to the sounds. And Death uh, takes it down a notch in a huge fucking way. Uh, this sounded like Tony Bennett meets Frank Sinatra, but it's M Shadows and he's crooning and there's like a piano and you're like, what the fuck is this? But you know, it's, it's, it's strange to have a, a song uh, finished that way. But you know, it, it's something like a band like Faith No More would do like when they cover Easy. So it's that type of feel and it ends the album. Uh, I think the story is at the end, they die and they meet God. And then the album closes with Life Is But A Dream, which is a four and a half minute instrumental piano track, beautiful piano to end the track. So I'm thinking that that piano represents when you're dying and you're either ascending to heaven, if you will. Uh, do they need that to have like a four and a half minute piano track to end the song, the album? I don't know, I, I, I wouldn't have thought it, but you know what? This is a Bench Sevenfold album, not mine. So they can do whatever the fuck they want. So at the end, life is but a dream. It's a interesting release. Uh, if you're a fan of uh, more Avenged Sevenfold, the traditional sound, you may be put off by this because this is... So the band is saying, we are going on this trip, it's weird, so you can either join the band or not join the band. So my suggestion for you people is when you listen to this album, just don't think of it only as a new Avenged Sevenfold album. Uh, just listen to it uh, as you would listen to a album by any band and 
make up your mind of what you think from it. Uh, because, you know, it's, it's a strange album at the end of the day, but I have to give it to the band. Uh, they took a chance and they're doing music that they want to do. So if this is the direction that Avenged Sevenfold is taking in the future, uh, you can either love it or hate it. Uh, I don't know, hate it and I don't love it. You know, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that I enjoy everything that this album does. There's things that to me do not make sense and they could have taken it out. But at the end of the day, uh, Avenged Sevenfold really uh, is very experimental and I have to applaud the band for taking a chance and going down further this rabbit hole that they first started doing it, especially on the stage. So what did you think of Life is But a Dream by Avenged Sevenfold? Comment, what are your favorite tracks? What did you think of the concept? Or are you one of the people that are like, I fucking hate this record? Uh, so I want to know your thoughts on it. And of course, if you like the videos that I'm putting out, do not forget to give me a like and do not forget to subscribe. I have more content on the way. So until next time, this is Hector, the shield on a couch, and I'll see you. Thank right. you and good night.